So guys um I'm, I'm not really happy honestly um before i started making this journey i've heard a lot of people complain that they miss their luggages this and that like i'm now a victim of that one of my luggages is missing like one of my biggest luggage is missing one of my bag my big bag is missing and that bag contains all my clothes all my shoes my medication everything like everything i want to use at home is in that bag the funny part is that i paid extra luggage for my bag i paid 600 and i think 675 dollars that i paid yeah because um they said we're supposed to have like um 223 kg each and one hand luggage and one personal item but we have more we have extra bags then i have to pay for 675 dollars if i get if i find the the invoice they gave me i'll just paste it here i don't know whether because i i don't i don't think i can paste it because of i have my names and my details on it but after paying all that we, we got to nigeria and i find out that my bag is missing one of my bag is me it's been weeks now i've not seen my bag they are just doing back and forth i've i sent message to air canada because um i will be um my bag was um was tagged in calgary so we boarded from calgary to toronto from toronto to frankfurt from frankfurt they stop at abuja nigeria but we did not come down when we get to abuja they did some um, electrical stuff or something added some gas in their you know, plane then we left to patakot nigeria when we got there when it's time to collect collect our luggages and i found out that one of my luggage is missing and it happens to be the one that have everything like all my clothes like since i came back they will be telling me tomorrow next tomorrow so i don't feel like buying clothes here why i have a lot of clothes inside that bag everything like all my stuff everything that i plan to use in this my journey is, is, is in that bag and the bag is heavy like like around 27 kg and i paid i paid and i paid for other extra luggages why is my bag missing the ones in nigeria here they gave me a form to fill i feel the form they keep turning me how can i feel form there is no number to contact them then after some days i didn't hear anything they said they would call me they didn't write any number my brother has to go back there my brother went back there they were still saying and thank god that you know doing videos and snapping pictures is very 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 good i have to like did they start saying nonsense i have to like bring out the my brother has to show them the pictures of my bag the videos thank god doing videos sometimes you will feel that um is is not necessary sometimes it's very very necessary like doing video have saved me um a lot of time like when you are dealing dealing with people or something that you don't even know that that video will help you in future so that was exactly what happened up till now i've not heard anything and i wrote to air canada they told me that the bag already left canada so um, is um lufthansa 
that is responsible for the bag i'm just using this airport because this is frankfurt airport this is where they transported maybe where they got my bag from air canada to ship it to nigeria and up to this moment i've not seen my bag i've not seen anything i've not heard anything from them one woman from their office because my brother went there called me Instead of her to just be like hello is this this person da, 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 da. she just called and said hello is from um lufthansa i believe you have seen your bag i was so mad at her how can you call someone that's been looking forward to get her bag that hello i believe you have seen your bag can you imagine i was like asking her are you asking me question or are you telling me that you've seen my bag or is there any information you have about my bag you know i was so angry like i don't know like I don't know what to do like i have a lot of stuff there all the clothes in that bag i've not worn them before like they are all new clothes M many even the ones i bought for some people even like i have like more than um 30 watches inside that bag inside that bag that watch watch only watch inside that bag is like 30 pieces i hope they will not steal it because i heard that sometimes they will open your bag and take some things i don't know i don't know who does it whether they do it in nigeria airport or whatever airport i don't know even one of the bag that one of my bag they use i don't know whether it's scissors that they use to open the bag and took some things from that bag you know this is so sad how can somebody you are traveling and people be stealing from you how can they be stealing they will just choke their hand and take something from your bag is is very very wrong this is very very wrong very very wrong you know but anyway sure i'm just documenting all these stuffs and i believe or i hope i'll see my bag because if i don't see that bag i'll be very very mad i'll be very very sad like i've been so sad i don't even go anywhere because i don't have clothes to wear i don't have shoes to wear you know they keep telling me the bag will come the next day to come tomorrow the flight will be next day you know like we keep doing that and i'll be like okay no need to buy clothes since i have enough clothes and shoes and everything in that bag the next day they will tell me the next day you know you know that kind of thing they keep posting you you might be thinking that oh maybe you might go and buy clothes now and they won't um bring it so finally uh yesterday i decided to order like four four clothes yeah and thank god the other of my bag has like three pairs of shoes and yeah there is another shoes that is in other bags that i wanted to give my sisters i have to wear them and tell them let me just use it before when i later i'll give it back to them they said no problem even some clothes that i want to dash dash out that is in another bag the clothes i'm not wearing anymore that's the one that i'm using uh, to wear at home I'm, i don't go anywhere like i don't know I'm, I'm 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 just frustrated and tired but anyway i just um want to just tell you guys what is happening if you are traveling i don't know how to put it again like i don't know the like next time i'm traveling to nigeria i'm not buying anything like i'm not going with it i'll just go only with my hand luggage honestly so that when i get down to nigeria i can buy clothes here that's the best thing like anything that will not enter my hand luggage again because this is so frustrating in that airport that day that i didn't see my bag you see a lot of people crying some people have something in their bags that they want to use for wedding some are doing weddings some have their like personal belongings that is very very important to them in the bag and they are telling them that like there is this man he even went to the extent of putting his hand luggage the only thing he has in his bag is just small purse everything he came back with none came back they are telling him um, tomorrow, next tomorrow, like everything. He's just having just small pause. The man was just shedding tears. You no, know, when you see a man crying, I felt so sad. Me, I was one corner crying. My husband was just laughing at me that I'm crying because of clothes and shoes and that. But like, it's my thing. It's my own. Like something you, I don't know how to put it, but I felt so bad. I'm still feeling so bad now. But I hope, I hope Lufthansa, Lufthansa. I hope you guys will bring my bag home. Hmm. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be giving you guys updates on this my journey back to Nigeria. It's not really easy. I've seen when, like when, when, he started showing me Shege right from the airport that my bag started missing. That was why I said, oh my gosh, this journey is going to be something else. But anyway, good news, good news, good news is what I, I hope for in this. And I believe that at the end of the day, my bag will come back to me and I'll give people the gifts I bought for them. That's the most 
painful part of it people that you want to give something they'll be waiting for you some you have already done videos with them to choose what they want and you got here you don't have it it's as if you're doing them prank i don't know i don't understand it's very very painful but yeah so that is my predicament right now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video